Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here today. Game recording beta on the Steam client. It's on Steam Deck, it's on your desktop version of Steam, but you're gonna have to opt into the beta. Now, I've already opted in, so game recording shows up on my main menu. If it does not show up for you, change your system update channel to beta. Change it to beta. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Now, there's, there's a little bit to take in here. Um, it looks like Valve has decided to give us three different methodologies for recording. And I'm very pleased that they let you turn it completely off. Recording in the background is one of those things that's going to sit there and constantly spool 120 minutes of video to your hard drive the entire time you're playing. That's on the off chance that you want to snapshot something that you may have missed or something of that nature, right? But this is a pretty high price tag, 21 gigabytes for the highest quality. Even if you change it down, it's still it's still pretty heavy. And 24 megabytes, the megabits per second is is good, but do you need it? I don't know. 10.8 gigabytes is still pretty good. And then uh, we also have record on demand, which is what I'm interested in. I want to be able to tell it when to record and when to stop recording. And there's some shortcut keys for you using the Steam button in A, Steam button in Y to add a timeline marker. This is essentially where you would say, oh, I just got an achievement. Let me put a timeline marker on there. And then when you go back and review the video, you'll be able to see with that timeline marker. Okay. So let's go over to desktop mode because honestly, desktop mode has some options that aren't available in gaming mode. So let's check that out. We'll go to settings. And inside of game recording, it looks fairly similar, but look, there's a raw recordings folder that you can change along with the keyboard shortcuts. People are gonna love this. Keyboard shortcuts for doing it, and you can also assign a controller shortcut as well. It is not assigned by default. So uh, let's take a look here. We have the same options, record in the background. All of these things are pretty much the same, but being able to change your raw recording folder could make a big difference to some people. It really could. So let's, uh, let's not uh, pass on that little option. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and jump back to gaming mode. Now that we've got our recording folder set up the way we want it, everything should be good. Now, my first test as usual is to do something with Overwatch 2. This is probably my favorite game and this is, uh, you know, it's as good a spot to start as anything. So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna bring up the overlay because I was told that the overlay also has game recording functionality. You don't have to use the shortcut buttons, which is good because if you're an Xbox user, I've got some bad news for you. All right, so here is our overlay and you can start recording, view recordings, um, change your recording settings. I believe that the recording settings are global, not per game. Sorry about that. That would be nice, but I don't think so. So I'm gonna start recording and let's see what happens. It died. It literally simply crashed the machine so hard. I had to do a full power cycle to get it back. All right, so maybe Overwatch 2 is a new place to start. Let's go with the tried and true Next Machina because uh, this is a game that you can always count on to deliver the exact same demo attract mode each and every time. It's perfect for doing testing against and stuff, which is why you see it on a lot of my videos. I'll skip a bunch of the loading stuff. We'll just try to get in here. And uh, let's see, so we can go over to game recording and we. We could start it from here, right? We could start the recording from here, just like we did the other one. But instead, let's try using the Xbox button plus A. Guess what? It doesn't work. It brings up the other flyout menu. So there is a uh, some sort of a conflict between there. Now I did reach over and press Steam and A on the Steam Deck, and now it's starting to record. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and record this whole thing. I won't make you watch the whole thing. I'm gonna just catch the last little clip of it. I'm gonna stop the recording. There we go, recording finished. Now, if I go and look at my recordings, you can see that they're here. Um, some of the ones I recorded earlier, but notice that the background recording is working. I never said to turn that on, not once. And it is recording stuff in the background and I think it's making my system unstable. I've had a lot of problems since moving to the beta. So I don't know if there's a glitch there. I would just stay away from the always recording thing because it's not looking good. I can't get rid of it. I can't, I can't stop it. Whether I wanted it or not, it's gonna do it. So you can see I've got a couple recordings here. Let's take a look at the playback interface. 
Uh, there's really nothing that will blow your mind here. Fast forward, reverse 10, set a time mark, uh, look at other uh, look at other uh, videos for this particular game that you captured. There is a rough edit tool, which uh, if you really want me to go into detail with this edit tool, I'll be happy to do that. Um, but, you know, listen, it's a simple edit tool. So now the button over here uh, says share. There's the hamburger menu at the bottom that says share. And uh well, you think share, that's perfect. I wanna post this on YouTube. I wanna put this on Twitch. I wanna put this somewhere. But you got other device, phone, or Q create a QR link. Okay, well, I'm intrigued. What about sending it to another device? Well, hey, look, my PC is right there. It can send the clip to that. All right, well, that's something, I guess. Um, might be more useful to send it to my phone maybe, or send it to a service to host it, but I don't know, whatever. All right, what else do we got in here? Send to your phone. Ah, you must have the latest mobile app, so you must be up to date. And don't worry, we're gonna show that off in a minute too. My app was not up to date. So that leaves us with this QR code generator, which doesn't work. <laughs> I've tried it a million times after I've sent it, before I've sent it, the QR code simply doesn't work. This is, this is like beta light, possibly an alpha, because the primary functions work, like recording the screen, but like everything else doesn't, or doesn't work like you would hope. This is another uh, version of the share button over here. Uh, you could also get to that from the uh, the hamburger menu. And so you can see the quality of the playback. Listen, this is gonna have been compressed and everything. So it's really difficult to see the, the actual output. If you actually wanna see the output of this, um, I'll be happy to, um, to upload a file for somebody somewhere. Just tell me what you wanna see and how much you wanna see it and what kind of quality. All right, so that's pretty much it. So if you uh, press the menu on here, you've got some basic stuff. View, delete, share like you did before, right? So you can delete your videos, except for this stupid background recording. I cannot get rid of it. It just does not want to go away. So you delete it, it won't go because it's probably an operation sitting there spooling endlessly to my drive. It makes me mental, I can't get rid of it. So this is a pretty big glitch in my book. All right, we'll go back to our recording settings here and you can see that it does say that there was a time when the background recording was on. So I said, okay, delete it, right? Turn that off. And now we'll go back and view recordings, but it's still there. And look at that, it's still going up. It's still recording to my drive. It's just making me, it's making me batty. This is probably the, the worst glitch of them all, despite other little quality of life problems, which we're gonna see here in a minute. Let's go back to the media folder. And you can see here I've got, uh, this actually shows all of your games, right? We were seeing before it was just kind of showing your games. Now it's showing all of your stored media, the videos, as well as uh, screenshots that you've taken over time. And here's the one I did from Overwatch earlier. It did actually end up working. I just used the shortcut instead of the overlay. So huh, it wasn't Overwatch. Very, very crazy. Okay, so let's go back to the desktop. It's time for us to go in and see what's going on behind the curtain. So here is where I told it to save all my stuff. There's some sort of database looking thing. There's uh, two clip folders. I'm assuming one of these is, uh, let me see, one of them, okay, is Overwatch and the other one's gonna be uh, Next Machina, I assume. Let's see what's in here. What's in this timeline? Some sort of JSON file, probably where you put your little markers, right? And then here's the video. Wait, what? It's all chunked up into these different size chunks. There's no like MP4 in here. So you can't really do anything with this. This is all steam mumbo jumbo. Somebody will come up with a translation tool or something, but right now, yeah, you can't do anything with these clips, which is probably why they didn't save these originally into the videos folder because you can't do anything with them. They're not really videos, they're video chunks, video pieces that eventually combine to make the full meal deal. Wow, I'm, I'm actually very disappointed by that. I wanted an easy way to record MP4s and dump them onto YouTube, and I can't even do that. What a nightmare. Okay, well, I know, first world problems, right? So let's go back into Steam. And let's look under view. You'll now see a new item that says recording and screenshots. Hopefully we can do more with these in the full client than we can with the gaming mode client. Okay, so here we go. All right, all right. Well, it looks 
Pretty close to the same. Let's try the sharing. Yes, export video file, finally. Well, don't get too excited. I know, I got very excited, popped a blood vessel, and check this out. Nope, no can do. Okay, so why, why not? I mean, there's no reason why that shouldn't work. Maybe I have to put the extension on myself? No can do. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I'll try putting it somewhere else. Well, that didn't work either. So there's no way to export the video clip. So we're right back to square one where we can't do anything with these videos on the deck by itself. So we could send it to our phone, right? And so let's try that. Or you can scan the QR code. Of course, we know the QR code doesn't work. <laughs> so this thing's so buggy, it's so buggy. I can't believe that they let this out in beta. So let's try, uh, let's see, copy to clipboard. What does that do? Let's see. Yeah, copy to clipboard. It sits there and does this until you force close it. It just sits there. It never moves. We're just gonna skip right on by that. So, so much for that. So let's go ahead and try sending to phone. You're not gonna try the QR code again. You know it's not gonna work. Okay, so now it's uploading to the phone. That's that's perfect. So once it uploads, now let's flip over to my phone and see what I got there. Now we're on my phone and after I sent the clip, look at this, I get a notification. I'll pull it down a little bit so you can peek at it and it says your clip is ready for download. So you could tap that and go to Steam, but I'm already in Steam. I'll refresh my notifications. Look, your clip is ready to save. Awesome. So I go in here and I'm looking at my clip and I can play my clip. Oh, I don't know, that's not quite right. Look at that, it's kind of skewed. I don't know, it's like it didn't capture the whole thing. I don't know, whatever. It seems to work, but what about the save share? Um, No apps, so I can't save it? It doesn't, it doesn't work. So <laughs> even if you send it to your phone, you still can't send it to Twitch or to YouTube or anything. It's just, I can't believe that this shipped. Okay. It's back to recording that background task again. Good Lord. So broken. All right. Well, we'll just keep deleting it and hope it works. It's just, <laughs> I keep going in there and deleting it. It won't delete. It's because it's still spooling. I can't get it to shut off. Since we know that we can't do anything with the file on the deck to be useful, let's instead maybe send it over to my PC. Maybe I can export it over there and salvage some of this nightmare. So we'll go ahead and exit the game. And let's uh, go down to media and let's send one of these files to the PC. I think this was the seven megabit per second one. So let's send that over to my PC. And then we're gonna get on the PC and see what it looks like from a Windows machine. Okay, the upload went. And uh, you could see the quality wasn't very good and that was like a middle selection there. This, let's go over to the PC and you can see there's a broken image already. That's already a broken feature, but there is, there is the game. It's, well, it'll play in a minute. How about this export? Does it work here? So I'm just gonna save this, yes! Okay, so the whole thing isn't a complete mess. It's, uh, it works, but you've got to send it to your PC first. I, I, I don't know, I just, I don't know. All right, well, listen, um, uh, it's broke. I mean, it's sort of functional, but overall it's kind of broke. All right, back to the deck. And again, we're gonna flip over to the desktop. And let's check out how big these files are, right? We have an idea. They gave us a basic idea. So we'll go into clips and then you can see I've got a whole bunch of clips here. Let's go ahead and do properties on them and get the size. 49 megabytes, not too bad. Now remember, these are less than one minute. So you can extrapolate yourself. All right, it's time to do some benchmarking. That's right, let's see how much you're gonna pay to record. So here is Far Cry New Dawn. It's got a nice benchmarking tool in it. Now I am not recording right now, 
So let's go ahead and see how this benches out. Again, I'm going to skip real fast through here. Uh, obviously, it's running at very fast speed, but I didn't want you to have to sit through all of this. And let's take a look. Here we go. Minimum 31, average 38, top 46. Let's try it again. This time we're going to record it. Let's see what the penalty is. Now, if you're going to play Bellatro, you're probably not going to get any penalty. But if you're playing something that runs the system to its limits, I'm talking like Elden Ring or any of these big AAA games, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe that the more powerful requirements that the game needs, the more you're going to be impacted. And this is a very simple test. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, yeah, it looks okay. I mean, it, it's a, it, you can tell. Can you tell that it's taking a hit? Absolutely. It, you should be able to see the difference. Fortunately, we have a graph running that we can now compare to the original one to give you a much better idea. So here it is, 29 minimum, average 34, maximum 42. Let's put these side by side so that you guys can see the difference, right? 31, 29, 38, 34, 46, 42. So it looks like a 10%. You're taking a 10% hit by recording. For a lot of people, nobody, nobody cares. For some people though, that are actually like trying to show off Steam games or show games to their friends, you're it's a bit deceptive to show a game running on the deck that's running 10% slower than it should be. So I always recommend hardware. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you like what we're doing here, leave a comment. If you don't like what we're doing here, leave a comment. I read them all. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and check out some of these videos.